All right, guys. Good morning. So we're on our way to Kentucky, where we uh, found a truck heading to LA um, to the airport to get a truck. So this is our journey to get into the new truck. It's 2 a.m. right now, but uh, we're leaving early to get our truck in Kentucky. Okay, let's go. seeing our truck right now because the guy that's picking us up he's actually driving the truck <laughs> so we get to see it firsthand right now all right you wait to there's a truck Woo! steak. This is fry okra. Alright, we're hungry. Hot Spring National Park about to check out this drive but man we, this is not what we thought <laughs> we thought it's gonna be a bunch of nature but it's definitely like uh, just a town around a bunch of hot springs it's actually one of the smallest it is the smallest actually but it's kind of cool taking a lunch break here and then do this drive Spring. One of them. We got shabu shabu for the night, right? <laughs> oh, looks good. Can't wait to dig in. That's steam.
guys, welcome back to the adventure of driving our new truck all the way from the Midwest to California. My eyes are really tiring because I've been driving so much lately. Um, so yesterday was kind of boring, that's why I didn't want to film anything. We pretty much just drove from Dallas straight into Fort Stockton, which is a little bit south of uh, Texas, southwest I guess, Texas. So uh, we stayed there, Fort Stockton for a night, but right now, Just finished with Boquilla Canyon. That was cool. It was hot. 87 right now and humidity just feel like you're in Mexico because you're literally right across the Mexico boundary. But so we gonna check out uh, hot spring and then uh, yeah see if we can return to the other trail before heading back. But uh, yeah this is cool uh, national park but it's just super hot right now even in December. Kind of crazy. Alright check out this hot spring. First time off-roading with the vehicle <laughs> in search of the hot spring. It's easy, but it's kind of cool to take it off-road for the first time here in the Big Bend National Park. Oh, the hot spring right there. Oh, it's people. That's the trail to the hot spring. So we're at the hot spring. It's pretty crowded. Well, the water is probably like 90 something, maybe. On our way to, was it Elena? San Elena? Oh, Santa Elena. Santa Elena Canyon. It's one of the more famous trail uh, in this national park. Again, it's a goal against all the canyon wall near uh, Mexican and American border, with the Rio Grande. But the view here is amazing. Check it out. It's hard to see, but those mountain ranges in the back is just amazing. It's a little bit overcast right now, just give it a nice cool look to the mountain. But yeah, let's check out this canyon. Yes, we're going up to there. Must be pretty deep here. Oh. 
Yeah, it's huge. It's pretty dark in here right now and we can't really be loud. So I'm talking really close to the camera. And it's not a lot of light. So I recommend bringing a headlamp, but I'm not sure if you have to use it or not. That's one thing we didn't ask the ranger. But this is cool. Alright, we're finished heading back to that restroom area, the elevator. It was cool. You can actually spend like half a day or a whole day down here if you want. But uh, we really don't have a lot of time, so I'm trying to rush to it. But it's nice to be able to get to see it. Alright, guys, we finished with what's it called? Carlsbad, Carlsbad Cabin. <laughs> so tired, all the driving, but. Uh, Heading out to Guadalupe National Park, but uh, it's raining a lot of rain right now. So check this out. So this is into the National Park boundary, but yeah, it's a lot of rain. Cosmo Cabin is definitely a cool place if you uh, get the permit um, and go into it, but uh, yeah, it's one of those once in a lifetime kind of thing. Man, it's a lot of rain right now. We'll see if we can see anything in this national park. So we're here at the Pine Spring Visitor Center. Try to figure out if we can just drive some of these area and see, but it doesn't look like it. It's all hiking trail, backpacking trail. So when it's like this, can't continue. Man, so getting all fogged up here. <laughs> Oh well, at least we get to see this area, but not see the park too much. Good morning guys! We're on our way to White Sand National Park, our last national park to see around this area. Yesterday, unfortunately, we couldn't see Guadalupe Mountains National Park, which is all rainy. And most of it is just hiking trail anyway. But we're here in Las Crutches, I think, in New Mexico. And uh, we're heading to White Sand National Park. We've been wanting to see this area. Uh, I'm just seeing some picture, but it's supposed to be windy, so we'll see what kind of condition the sand will be but man it's kind of nice the drive is really nice right now the clouds and the mounds check it out so that's the view we're looking at I'm not sure the name of those mound range but it's pretty cool so the plan is hit up White Sand National Park and uh, see how that goes if it's uh, not too nice or it's too windy where we can't do anything we'll probably just head back home do the crazy 12-hour drive but we end up spending some time here. We might just uh, hit up in Tucson and just spend the night. But yeah, this is the view right now. It's beautiful.
we finished with this area. I think uh, it's just not having fun anymore. Um, being pelted with sand all over the place. <laughs> so we're gonna go visit the visitor center, get a sticker, which we like to do when we go to these kind of national park. Just a memory of that we've been here. But uh, yeah, definitely a cool area to uh, have fun in if it's not so freaking windy. <laughs> I see a bunch of kids just sliding down the sand dunes, but I don't know, they were just like, their sled was flying all over the place. So, but it's cool to see. We gonna do, go go, vi go visit the visitor center and then pretty much just uh, head into Arizona. But it's starting to actually rain. There's some dark rain cloud coming. So I'm assuming that's where all the wind is from. So uh, we're just gonna get out of here before it gets too crazy. All right, let's do it. Wow, got the snow. <laughs> Chocolate ice frozen. That's beautiful. That's our hotel. That's just ice. <laughs> got all the little snowflake you see on there. It's pretty cool. Alright, time to get some gas and uh, head out. <laughs> it's so cold. It got down to I think eight degrees last night. Right now, and our truck is set outside at eleven. But it's uh, pretty cold. So our plan today is gonna go see the petrified forest. Been here before, but last time we we're here it was so windy that we didn't get a chance to really enjoy it. So it's supposed to be not that windy today. So we can go do that real quick, and then uh, yeah, pretty much do the crazy drive back home. Three hours, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cold here. <laughs> It's ice over everything, check it out. All right guys, we here at first area. I think this is called Tawa, Tawa Point. Man, such a difference. Last time was, you can see a lot more color. <laughs> Today just covered in snow and ice. But it's beautiful though. I'm working on. Ooh, it's cold. All right, guys, we are in Petrified Forest National Park. We are uh, trying to go fast here to see everything within two hours. We've been here before. We just want to see a couple of iconic places. The truck's back there. No one's here. It's just so cold. Uh, it's a 90 deg nine degrees right now, but we're at the Blue Mesa, which is right down there. Pretty iconic area. It's pretty with the snow though. Make it for a contrast. But uh, yeah, this place is cool. Finished with the Petrify Forest National Park. So now we have about three and a half hours journey to Phoenix, get lunch, and pretty much that's it for our adventure here. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna drive home probably most likely in the dark. <laughs> All right, but uh, definitely Petrify Forest, kind of cool to see. All right, let's continue on our journey to Phoenix next. Finally, got some fur. 
I've been missing Vimy's food. <laughs> oh, time to dig in. We made it to California. Got another three and a half hours, and this baby is home. Woo! All right, guys. Wow, we made it <laughs> back at our house. We covered. We travel over five thousand miles. We did about thirty-two hundred miles total. Uh, from Murray, from Nashville actually, up to Murray, Kentucky, all the way here, traveling all this day. It's been a long journey, but we got our dream truck. We love this thing. Uh, it's worth it for us just to travel and, uh, you know, do a road trip and uh, bring this thing home. But man, it's been really nice driving this thing. So I'm super exhausted, drove around eight hours today. So getting ready for dinner right now. But uh, hope you guys like that adventure. Um, let me know what do you guys think of that truck or you have any question regarding this adventure and I'll answer as much as I can. But uh, man, I'm, I'm pretty tired. So I'm gonna call it a night. So hope you guys uh, like that uh, video and hope you guys, uh, if you guys like this kind of venture, consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, take care, bye.